What's up, you guys? I'm going to show you a very horrible demonstration of the things that I hate. Well, actually, one thing, the number one thing I hate that math tutors do. This, let me, let me just badly demonstrate what I see a lot of what math tutors do. Okay, let's say that uh, you have a student and, or I don't know, you're a student, I'm a student, or I don't know how, I'm probably going to have to role play both ways. But this problem here, let's say, uh, a student says, oh yeah, I need help with this. Uh, how do I compute the derivative of x to the power of x? And the math tutor would be like, oh, well, uh, do you know what a derivative is? Do you, do you know what a derivative is, at least? Um, yeah, okay. So you do, or then tell me what is what is a derivative then? What is a derivative? You know the rate of change or differentiating. There's multiple definitions of of derivatives. Uh, you know a tangent of a slope of a curve, whatever. But in this context, you know that doesn't help. Obviously, right? I obviously know what a derivative is. Otherwise, I wouldn't be asking. And then the math tutor would be like, okay, so if x to the power of x so what does that mean? Well, I mean it's x to the power of x. What do I what how do I derive this? Well, what type of function is it? Right? Do you, do, you, do you see where this is going? It's it's the 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 way I see how do I how do I how do I put this without uh Actually, no, there's no nice way to say this, but it's just the way math tutors explain or help students is they just keep constantly asking them questions that is just such wasteful time. <laughs> and it's like, I get it, right? Math tutors, they want students to try to solve it themselves. I get that. But this is not the way. <laughs> this is not the way to do it. Okay. This is like, like it's it's like okay, uh, so you don't know what the type of function this is. This seems to be like don't you don't you think that this is an exponential function, or is there any way that we can put this in a different form? What do you think? Oh well, what do you think that you should do? Like like this it's so like if what was the point of me asking you? If I'm just if I could just ask these questions myself, like these are like easy questions that I already know, but like it doesn't lead to anywhere. Does that make sense? So let me let me actually give you an analogy of how this sounds. I am sorry if you hear my mic moving, but let me. Oh, too bright. Oh, I forgot to change layers. Oh, my eyes has been singed. God, my eyes. Okay. No, oh, cancel. All right, hide that. Jeez, my eyes. Oh God. Okay, I apologize if I blinded you. I blinded myself too. Okay. So this is what it sounds like. It's the way math tutors help students is like, it's like helping someone who is lost. It's like helping someone who is lost at a certain area. Let's say this is the this is a student, and this is the tutor. Okay, and this this person is lost. Okay, and he's asking, "Hey, I'm like, do you know where the uh, where is where is this uh, college? Uh, I'm trying to go to a college, or trying to walk to a college, but I'm lost. I don't know where I'm at. Uh, where should I go?" And the tutor is like, okay, well, where are you at right now? Um, I'm at a intersection. Okay, uh, what do you remember at the intersection? What do you know? Do you know where this leads to? Uh, yes, uh, I know at here, this is like, what, some restaurant, uh, food, some food place. And the tutor is like, okay, so you know that this part is at the food place. Uh, what what else do you remember at this area? Uh, I know that there is a train track here. 
that goes like this and it leads to like the upper diagonal here okay so you if you follow the track if you follow the train track here then where are you now uh, I am at this uh, this park here okay if you're at this park where do you go uh, where do you remember uh, what else is at this park that you remember oh I know there's an arcade here there's an arcade here and over here there's like a train another train station that goes like this okay and the tutor's like okay so you remember this train track here uh, what happens if you follow this train track oh uh, then I will see a, uh, a hotel here or there's like a casino here okay well if you see this casino here then what is uh, what else do you remember here at this casino Uh, there's this another some uh, mall here okay and what do you <coughs> what do you uh, is there anything that's next to the mall and it's like oh now I remember the college and the mall are next to each other okay and then the two is like okay well there you go you found your route and you literally you literally made him or her go here to here to here, to here, to here, to the college, okay? This is literally how people tutor students. This is unacceptable. <laughs> this is, this is a drag. This is just, it is, it's such a waste of time. This is literally the analogy. Well, this is my best friend's analogy. Thanks to my best friend. But you, but you see what I hate? That this is how what I see math tutors tutor students they tutor math like this like why would you make them solve it themselves if you can show them an efficient way to go where we need to go and then you know say things like oh well you go diagonal remember to go diagonal from this intersection remember to go across this train well most likely go across between the arcade and the train and then straight ahead you should see a college that you need to go right so you could just teach them like okay so next time when you approach this math problem this is what you need to do whenever you need to uh, approach or whenever you need to deal with the same problem again right that is how you tutor math students this this is just unacceptable here where you just let them figure it out themselves like come on otherwise they wouldn't be asking right so oh jeez it's i just i just need to reiterate how much i hate math tutors that does this and there's so many people that tutors math like this and i just i hate it so much because it's such a waste of time for those who are curious and you don't know how to solve this let me actually appropriately tutor you how to solve this so this is very sneaky <clears throat> a very sneaky derivative okay the trick is that whenever you see a function to the power of a function okay what you can do is you can let e you can let e to the ln of that function right you would agree that this is the same thing as this right so now here's the now why are we doing this the trick the beauty of this trick is that we can let e it's because of the logarithm rule the logarithm helps us turn this into a product so now it is easier for us to see and now here this is just product rule so what you're doing here in this derivative you are differentiating e to the ln of x to the power of x which is equal to e to the x ln of x right 
So this is this comes to this. So we're using e to the ln to turn this function into a product, right? It's because we know how to deal with a product of, of functions, how to derive that. And then here, I let you go on with this. All right, so now how do you derive this? Right, do you remember your chain rule? Do you remember your product rule? And this is where you kind of supervise students how they would perform chain rule and how they would perform product rule. Right, and then they got the answer. And then I tell them, all right, now you can go ahead and try it with this. You know, apply the same thing uh, with this with this function. I'm trying to come. I'm, I'm trying to make sure that's a nice function. Uh, I, I was going to do x to the power of sine of x, but I think this is a lot better because uh, the derivative of ln of sine of x is cotangent, which is nice. So, but yeah, I would give students. All right, now you go ahead and apply the same trick, and then see if they understand. Uh, make sure that they. Uh, remember and how to uh, fully understand the technique of this method of why we do it okay so that is how you don't waste a student's time you efficiently show them how to do it so that when they approach a similar problem they can do it and figure it out on their own that is the whole point of teaching students math or tutoring uh, you don't you don't just guide them and let them figure it out themselves. <laughs> okay, that's just that's just kind of I don't I don't I don't follow that. It's very bad, very bad philosophy. Yeah, that's about it. I just had to let that anger out because it, it annoys me, and I hate how common a lot of math tutors do this. I hate it a lot, a lot. Okay, do not be like those math tutors. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.